Right, I'm apparently, I'm apparently live. Right, I'm apparently. Okay, it seems to be all good. Uh huh. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. If anyone's in, I'll just wait for a few people to come in. But uh. I have a microphone here and uh, I'm hoping the sound's going to be a lot better. Let's, Aussie, I'm seeing people. Well, oh, right, okay. Now I can see people coming. Right. How are you doing? Hope you are all d good and well. Jan, hello, Sebastian. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> no, like, hello. Play some melodic minor. Play some now. <laughs> Hello, oh, uh, Sh Fish Studios official. Hello, how are you doing? Sorry if I can't pronounce your name properly. Uh, great to see you on here as well. Um, yes, Leo, so thank you. So is this sounding reasonably okay? Um, hopefully nice and clear and whatnot. If you've seen any of my uh, previous um, hangouts, um, It'd be good to know if it sounds a little bit better or not. Um, I'll, I'll talk more about the microphone in a bit. I'll wait for a few few people to come on. Though I did say I'll come on at three o'clock and it's quarter to four. But uh, that's just me. Um, great to see you. Uh, good morning, Mike, from Boston. Having a coffee at Starbucks. Lovely. Oh, Surf B. Hello, my friend. Uh, sounds good. Oh, from Singapore. So this is a, this is what I love about this. In Singapore, that's incredible. Uh, fishy fish. <laughs> Hello. Uh, excellent. Oh, I'm glad it's sounding good. Excellent. Sounds great in cheem. Ah, oh, sunny, sunny cheem. Um, for those for those wondering, well, I say for those wondering. For you guys wondering. So this, if I, if I hold it up like this, I can't believe how straightforward and simple now. My voice might sound a bit different now. I'll turn it round if so. So I apologise. But um, I've got this. I've got this mic. Oh, Christmas time! I'm finally getting around to using it. Uh, the Fee Fine K670. Um, and at first, I thought, oh, I'd be like, you know, I need to connect it to my interface and all that kind of stuff. It's literally like a USB connected to the Mac, and then you just change. Uh, obviously, change your. Um, input from you know mac speakers to this microphone and um it's so straightforward so yeah i wanted to see how it kind of sounded what you guys sound because when it comes to like skype lessons and things like that i think i'm going to use it more and we've got a volume at the front here at the moment is kind of um you know neutral bang in the middle i could turn it up a little bit more has that got a lot louder now and if i keep da -da 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 <laughs> hopefully you're hearing a bit of a difference um going on but i just yeah i was just like oh man this is so cool um officially india excellent um sound is better than okay this is good this is good this is really good um i'll put a link actually in the description box if you want to check it out uh, cause I, I thought I'd be nice. And I said to the guys, I'd be nice. Um, uh, and, and, and do that because they, they very kindly sent it to me, I should say. So fee fine technology K670. They very kindly sent it to me. So, uh, and I'm finally, uh, getting around to it, but it's so straightforward. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's get an acoustic. Yes. That's a very good shout. Let's see what it sounds like on acoustic guitar. Um, this is, uh, oh, I can't see what you can see. I mean, let me, uh, Go back here. This is my old Taki Mini. <laughs> you can see uh, where my, if I get in the light, there we go. You can see where my hand would be all the time. Uh, if I've got a pick on me. Da -da -da -da. Of course I've got a pick. Let me drop the camera down just a smidge so that you can see the little supersonic. <laughs> right, so let me see what you guys are seeing and hearing. Um, how does that sound? Uh, 
How's that sound? Oh, my screen's frozen. Uh, okay. Yeah, how's that sounding? Uh, where else can you do a live sound checks with a live audience on moments? Now? Exactly. Um, Eddie 99, man, the last video is amazing. Oh, thank you. I'll talk about that in a minute, that John Mayer video. Uh, it sounds a bit muffled. Oh, okay. Uh, a bit muff, but good. Let me try this. So if I knock, what does it sound like now? How does that sound? Hello, Shauna, you beautiful sweetheart. Thrash mellow and fun riffs, acoustic. Yeah, boy. Uh, I will say, uh, Shauna, I will. I just want to see how it's all thinking. It's a bit muffed because it's a live show. It might be. Uh, the focus more on the mic rather than the bass. But what's that? The focus is more on the mid rather than the bass. But I think it's a live stream piece of equipment. It's pretty this. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, I think it's more for, you know, podcasts and, and you know, talking. Um, I'm not sure. It sounds clear to me, but I'm not an auto. Was that an audio? <laughs> as long as you play loud, it sounds actually good. Oh, so I mean, I've turned the mic down a little bit. If I put the, so I don't know if you can hear a little bit more there. But I'm guessing probably lead after watch this back. Um. How's that? You know. Yeah, so it may be I was like, it sounds like everyone's saying the voice is better. Um, but uh yeah, it might be that uh the actual uh for kind of playing acoustic guitar kind of thing, it might be um a little bit harder to do. Every time. What's that? Uh, uh, that's a guy. I'll try it. Um, Look into my eyes. <laughs> you will see what you mean for me. Um, anyway, so how is everyone? Uh, it sounds clear to me, but I'm uh, sorry, I'm seeing the same one. Can you maybe try another acoustic? I've only got one acoustic here. Uh, oh, it sounds better. Oh, okay, sounds better now. That interesting. I mean, there's no point plugging an amp in. Hello, Alice. Was that Alice? One, two, three, four. <laughs> so how is everyone doing on this crazy Saturday? What's new? What's guanin, as the kids say? Um, anyone got a hangover? <laughs> uh, I'll put headphones on to check and the voice and guitar sound clear with good volume. Oh, okay. Thank you, Danny. Or Denny, sorry. Thank you. Dust in the wind. I have been a, a little wobbly or tunnel sound, kind of like a computer mic. Interesting. Okay. So, but I think if I if I stand back a little bit or sit back a little bit. Oh, please say your name or if I can. Ad Adarsh. Adarsh and Neil. Is that right? Adarsh I, I, I Anil. You could also try to hold the guitar a bit higher. can make a difference. Yeah, well, that's a very good shout. So when you are recording, why are you saying that? It's kind of in, you want it on that 12th position, the 12th fret, you know, but you kind of want it pointing like that, you know. Um, I don't think that mic, this mic is kind of designed for that kind of stuff. Um, but I think for talking and things like, sorry, you don't want to be, 
you don't want a crotch shot going on here, do you? Uh, I do, I don't know. Um, <laughs> might be that way inclined. Um, yeah, I think for, for kind of talking, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be really great. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm experimenting with it. But yeah, see what happens, you know. Uh, hello, people coming in. Hello, some new people here. Hello, how you doing? Um, Parlor guitar. No, my friend, this is um, a tacking mini. This is an old, what's the exact model? Is it EGS four three zero SC? There you go. Uh, I've had this old girl a long time, as you probably can see. Um, oh God, two thousand and three. I want to say. Um, it's nowhere near as good as my Taylor. But, um, yeah, she's she's at the teaching house where, and then if people come with an acoustic guitar or one acoustic is here, and my Taylor stays at home. Um, well, I stay at home. I gig it as well, a lot as well, because that's getting nicely beaten up now. Oh, okay. All the questions coming in. Right. Okay. Uh, where, where am I from? I'm from England. I'm, I'm just outside of London in a place called Surrey, a county called Surrey. Uh, wouldn't you want over the sound hole? Uh, no, you wouldn't want over the sound hole. It, if, you, if you put a mic over a sound hole, it gets far too boomy. Um, you kind of want it on the 12th fret. If you think of it, like the 12th fret is kind of the middle. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're like this. So, yeah, aiming a mic for that 12th fret produces a much better uh, sound and tone. Um, I'm Hello, Richard Barry. I'm very glad you've come across my channel as well. Thank you very much, my friend. That's very sweet of you to say. Maybe you position the main body of the guitar directly in front, center. Uh, might, this might sound a bit... but I don't know. I mean, I could... <laughs> Again, I think I think it's more for talking because it sounds like my talking for you to hear my talking voice is a lot better. Um, is that a USB connection? Yeah. So it's literally. I thought, oh, you're going to need like an XLR or something, but USB straight into the Mac, and then I just went into System Preference. If you've got a Mac, you understand that. Went into System Preferences, uh, input change it to the to this mic done i don't have to install anything in case you want i'll put a link in the description box below uh because these guys very kindly sent this to me christmas time i'm finally getting around to actually using it uh fee fine technology the k670 um yeah they're very nice to uh send over me for check out um uh da, 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 da. play some flute and mac to with your t-shirt oh right yeah oh god i forget the t-shirts i think um a few of you um uh in the so the recent video I went up yesterday the john mayer uh i guess i just feel like and i completely forgot i had like this old mum every time my mum sees me wearing it she's like will you throw that thing out and i'm just a, a notorious hoarder and uh, it's so holy, this striper T-shirt, and crowd like a cardigan on, and it was getting hot, so I had it off, and then went to afterwards, I was like, oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I had that T-shirt on, this holy T-shirt, but, you know, it adds character. Um, but I take it a few of you saw the uh, John Mayer thing I did yesterday. Uh, if you haven't, by me, check out my channel. Um, I knew it was going to be a little bit controversial um and also i'm still getting used to mixing uh, i didn't i don't know if i did a great job because it was probably a little bit basier than what it was in the room because i was trying to level out the level of the actual backing track and the guitar and i was experimenting using two mics instead of one um and some people were like that tone was terrible and then someone else would put i love that tone so you can never you can't please people, you know what I mean, in this in the YouTube world. But um, hopefully some people liked it. And uh, just my little take, and obviously that. Oh, it's a bit hard. That was out of tune, because I can't bend. There we go. 
Um, bit hangover, but doing well. Oh, you had a good night. What's that? Wizzy, Wizzy Shichichanda. <laughs> I can't say your name, man. But uh, hungover, but doing well. Um, de -de 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 -de. You have the t shirt. Do a little Lindsay Buckingham finger pick. Oh, man. Um, God, what is it? Big love, you know. I was doing some, I've moved down. Like, let me move back a little bit, see if that makes it better. Um, I was doing some last, like looking at Chet Atkins last week. Now, getting that thumb thing going, windy and warm. Ah, let me do it again. Really hope that's coming across all right there. Um, de -de 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 -de. um try listen and play Mediterranean Sundance, but Aldi. Oh man, I think I've heard that before. Aldi Mola, those two, and Paco De Luca, God bless him. Um, incredible guitar players, aren't they? Incredible. The air coming out of the sound hole makes puffs like a dragon. Um, a shy out. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with people's names. Ashaya Bukaya. Hello. Um, <clears throat> did it, did it, did it. Mike on the mic. Yeah, right. Uh, did, 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 you know, positive, negative, you know, I'm quite lucky. I don't get that much, like, negative uh, comments on, on YouTube. Um, and when I do, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it, you know? So, uh, but, yeah, I I'd certainly, I don't take it to heart, you know. Uh, you know, uh, it is what it is, isn't it, you know? I uh, haven't watched your John Mayer video yet. I look forward to it. Yeah, sure. Let me know, darling. Let me know what you um what you think. It'd be cool. Gypsy. Mark Knopfler. Oh, man. Mark Knopfler is just a fantastic musician, guitar player, songwriter all around, isn't he? Um, Thanks for the explanation about the I love your videos. We want to do this, but play. Uh, what's that? Play a one. One four two five and F minor and use melodic minus. Yeah. So a one four two five five seven. One four two five seven. So if you've got a one four two, I mean, it's not really. You wouldn't need to use a melodic minor over that because those those chords are all in C major um, where you would kind of have a melodic minor um, say for example um, oh gold what's the best way of describing this um, you, you, you would have it when a chord isn't in that diatonic scale you know um, so say you know, there I did a C and a B7. That wouldn't be melodic minor, it would be an E. Um, you know, if you had like D minor to A7, A7 isn't in D minor scale. So then you could do like a Phrygian dominant scale. over that you know what i mean so yeah you need to kind of make sure you got your your theory stuff down there uh i learned landslide a while but that's a tough trap yeah oh that's insane it well they got a capo uh, i'm getting i'm getting older too i can't think how it goes now but um yeah it's all that all that kind of stuff happening and sure what's funny is my brother used to call me shauna when we uh, Thanks for the music. Hope everyone had a fantastic week. Thank you, Leonard. And yes, I hope everyone has. That's very sweet of you. Um, I would love to, uh, Ashia, uh, I would love to see me play Tommy Emmanuel somewhere over the rainbow. Um, I'm a big, big Tommy Emmanuel fan. Uh, I think he's 
Oh, incredible. You know, I've, I've kind of done a few of his, um, was it Laney Madonna? I've got some videos of it. Oh, I've done this for ages. Sorry, this guitar is out of tune. Sorry, um, I haven't played that in a long time. Uh, minor one, minor six, minor two, dominant five. You, you, you're into your melodic minor, aren't you, Sebastian? Good day, Jimmy T. Good day, mate. Uh, the GNA was that the GNA video is going to make a return. Oh, the QA videos. You now, Jordan, a few people have been asking me that. Um, I'll ask you all now. Do you? Would you all like me to start doing Q and A videos? Um, it's been a while since I've done one, um, but yeah, let me know right now if you would all like, it, or if you're not bothered, tell me if you're not bothered. Um, this is very good, um, very good market research. Um, well, yeah, a couple of people have been, well, I'll say a couple, a bit more than a couple, have been asking me about the Q and A video. So, uh, but yeah, people want me to do it. I'll, I'll, I'll happily do it. Uh, just something very good. Guitar playing, amazing person. Greetings. Uh, buzzing. Thank you. Music and game. Hello, my friend. Uh, Mike, do you know Jacquel Stossum? I uh, really love the way he does Voodoo Child Acoustic, but I can't figure out his playing. Uh, after checking him out, yeah, I'm not aware of him, uh, Sean. Not aware of him, I'm afraid. Uh, so the progression would be F minor, D half diminished, G minor. Set. Okay, right. So now we're talking. That sounds a little bit more um, exotic, you know. So you've got F minor. Um. Kind of stuff um i don't really do that kind of stuff. i mean harmonic minor i've never really i should probably go more into uh melodic minor shouldn't i um what's your opinion on mexican strats versus american strats um i think they've um the mexican strats have got a lot better than how they were like um 10 years ago when I play some Mexican strats now, they're actually, they're not too shabby. They're all right. Um, they're kind of, since I was a kid, I've always been like this. Like, if I want something, what I truly want, I would just save up until I can get what I want. So I would still probably go over American strat over a Mexican. Um, sometimes you might find with Mexican strats or Mexican you know, fender uh, fenders or telecasters or mustangs or whatever um you may find the frets are a little bit sharp you know they're not kind of uh give me a guitar they're not like rolled off you know so you go it's like oh it's a bit it will hurt a little bit or something like that um but uh but yeah so if i was if it was me i would just i would probably save up a little bit and um and get an american one you know um you saw Tommy Manuel 25 years ago. Wow, that's amazing. Um, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did uh, only, yeah, I've got a couple of Tommy's albums. Uh, God, I forget the names. I've also got his Christmas one. Q and A is always welcome. Cool. Hello, Cade Robinson. Hello, my friend. Hello. <laughs> uh oh, thank you ed <laughs> i don't know what i played now but thank you um tom petty and mike campbell's oh mike campbell's awesome carver hein i believe did you mexican shots and tour carver hein is a you know ridiculous what's your favorite andy timmons song i'm really really bad with names if i'm honest with you um there's like a hendrixy thing he does um I've forgotten the name, to be honest with you. Um, 
but it's like this Hendrix instrumental thing. And I saw him do, he did like a Queen medley, didn't he, a few months ago. That was pretty cool. That was very, very cool. Uh, Andy Timmons is a great player, really good player. Uh, now, what is Nate? Um, Mohammed, any advice for a guy who started using a pick for strumming but find it difficult? A tip. Um, personally, I would say just stick at it. Um, if I think back to when I first started playing guitar, I used to hold the pick with two fingers and a thumb and a thumb and my thumb. So it's a hold like that. And then so like, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd be like this. You know what I mean? So, picking. Like it's, it's so weird to do it now, but picking. As opposed to that. Um, and my guitar teacher, uh, Mr. Alan Pinches, um, he would say to me, um, "Oh, you're gonna you're gonna want to use your pick and fingers at one point. You're gonna you're gonna want to have the pick and, and the fingers going at once." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, whatever." Um, and uh, after a while, he kept kind of going at it at me about it, and so I thought, "Okay, eventually, I'll just let's give it a go. Let's give it a go." So I just forced myself to start using just my forefinger and my thumb. Uh, and over time, it just is 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 natural, you know. Now I kind of will use fingers a lot, and I just people talk about that again from that John Mayer video what I posted yesterday because they saw how I went from that to that and to that again, you know, while playing da 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 you might not want a too heavy pick. I mean, I use the same picks for everything. This is a one point, very worn out 1.5 Dunlop um, pick, which I've been using since 2001, since I was a kid. Um, but that being said, when you get messages coming through, oh, China Mike. Um, that being said, uh, if you on an acoustic guitar, there is a difference when you use a thin pick. The, the guitar, if you want that tone it's, it's a cool tone to have but just stick with it you know there's no shortcuts for anything just stick with it and it will um it will start all coming together hello everyone joining by the way hello um oh it's more of you oh wicked more questions coming right um i forgot where i was um okay there we go um bah, 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 bah. you know any sticky finger song no just know of um the rolling stone sticky fingers and probably some dirty video i've seen in my time <laughs> oh god i'm sorry <laughs> um yeah and he did do a great version of him absolutely uh jamal karam hello oh excellent jamal thank you for those coming in testing out this new microphone by Fee Fine. Uh, it's a cool little mic. Bang, straight in, USB. It's, 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 it seems to be cool. It apparently is a bit muffled when I use acoustic, but it's cool. There's a link in the description box if you want to check it out. Um, anyone own a Les Paul with K90R pickups? No, first I've ever heard of those pickups. Opinion on uh, uh, Alica No Pro 2. I have an Alica No Pro 2 pickups in my uh, Telecaster. And um, they're cool. Uh, a little bit hotter, uh, probably than, than standard pups, maybe a little bit. But um, and doesn't slash use the humbucker versions for the last 30 years or something. Uh, well done, YZ. I have the same pick. I have, well, not the same pick. <laughs> I've been using the same pick since 2001. I've been using these Plectrum since 2001. I do have... a minute. Do you want to see something? Cool. Um, so, I have a lot of picks here. Uh, let me... I can see. So, if you can... 
just oh, oh there's a lot of purple picks in here right but let me to show you where we go so you know like a standard uh i don't want oh i don't want to show the the logo for that one so you know like a standard plectrums that so i would wear i would have plectrums and just use the same one and wear them down because i really like these dunlop picks that i'm so used to the sound of them i try using other plectrums i can't get on with it the only problem i find they just wear out so quick especially me i'm quite a heavy i'm a heavy hitter um but you know when i was 17 18 I would just keep the same pick and I wouldn't go and buy new picks. And so I would do this to Plectrums. I mean, look how worn out that is. I mean, <laughs> so again, a normal Plectrum, I'm hiding the logo. Uh, a normal Plectrum is that only because I don't work, I don't want to do associate myself with this company. It's not a big company, it's another teaching thing. Um, but you know and then i'd wear it from that you know what i mean so <laughs> uh i don't know why i do that and then like this nail would be like chopped off in half i would and it would always be bleeding i do gigs and it would just be blood and that would just all the skin would be just there'd be no skin there because i just would wear it out so much um uh, da, 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 da. you've been uh, everything is hard until it gets easy it is everything is hard until it gets easy sing please oh baby i love the way every day yeah yeah um is ever found all that better than gibson les paul wise i mean of course there's gonna be if you if you if you pick up a six grand les paul or not that's a custom shop thing you pick up a you know whatever the american standard is um what, like two grand now something like that and then pick up an 800 pound ever phone let's pull you're go you're probably gonna feel and hear a difference yeah you will um but i played some of them the top of the range epiphones like the Epiphone Les Paul custom i think it was called or something like that and uh, that was a great guitar and you know what a guitar i play that nam i played um the Jared James Nichols Epiphone, um, is it Old Glory, he calls it? Hmm. Man, that's a really good guitar. That's a really, really good guitar. And it's an Epiphone, so I don't know the actual price, but uh, I'm, I'm guessing no more than a 1,000. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I want you to sing The Devil's On My Side. Uh, I, could, I could give it a go. I don't know how muffled it would be, though um that's very sweet of you i'd need to tune my guitar down though um because we'd oh, i've lost where i was um you know what i'll give you a little as you asked nicely let me where's my tuner um <clears throat> crotch shot um so devil's on my side is a song by little old me and um i play it now in kind of a b thing but I tune the guitar. Um, down a time. Um, bear with me, bear with me. Talk among yourselves. Um, now what, this is the first time I've gone um, using this tuner, like down a tone, no, just straight into it. You've got to push a button, but, oh. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it's not as straightforward. Oh, it's just going to be a. There we go. Things I do for you guys, eh? Um. Okay, so uh, hopefully this is sounding all right. I'll do a, I'll just do a verse and that. So I'm saying it's an ages. Sitting in a corner. 
bottom of a crowded empty room Alone with my own thoughts of how I feel free. I'm afraid to see it now Let me dust my mind No, I don't want to play no sentimental games Feel more redemption for the pain that's come my way I'm trying to take a deep breath To let you in my life I have my mask behind my ways Behind the complications that seem to come my way Here's my soul lay bare for you Every time I walk the beat I feel so down and blue So again I feel the devil's on my side There we go Oh, there we go uh, da -da 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 -da. uh scales of songs first um i learned scales first i learned personally i learned scales first uh i switched to jazz threes and now i can't quit them yeah a few of my friends play jazz for it i just can't get on with them um did, 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 posted to, so, uh, did you listen to any exile by eric bell no first i've heard of him um, that's my Grey Dunlop. Is it? Oh, it's mine now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I've got, I've got a jazz free. I've got the big one as well. It's the sound. I'm so used to the sound of these picks. So used to them. Um, it's hard for me to, you know, get used to something else. I know half the pick is gone. Yeah. Um, Are you using any displays in software? Sometimes your your S makes a pretty bad sound just using a laptop speech, so it could be them. I, like I say, I'm, this is the first time I've tested this in my account, so I need to properly, um, I don't know if it could, I keep going from back here to here, so it may be that I knock it down just a little bit. Um, uh, that's all right, Jimmy T. What do you think of ACM currently there now, Joe John Walker? Uh, when I went to ACM, I mean, it was, it was a long time ago um, when I went. Uh, I went year 2000, 2001. Um, so I imagine it's a lot, lot, lot different there now. Um, when I went, I thought when I leave, I'd, I'd have a gig in a boy, like playing guitar for some big pop act or something. The way it was kind of sold, I had this guy... He went there and then he went on to um, play for Boyzone. Um, and then so I left there and I was like, oh, now what? You know? Um, but the main thing there is, I mean, I was very fortunate. I had uh, Guthrie Govan, Dave Kilminster, Jamie Humphreys, Eric Roach. Um, those four come to mind straight away. Matt Haslett, uh, teach me guitar, you know, music. So, Especially having Guffy Govan. Unfortunately, only for one term, as in he went on tour of Asia. Um, but Asia, you know why I know you're gay? Because you're like Asia, name that film. Um, but uh, it was great, you know, and, and the friends you make. I, I lost my phone shortly after leaving ACM. And this was back when you didn't have iCloud or anything. So, like, a lot of the numbers of the people I, I was friends with there, I, I've lost, you know. This is before Facebook. So, uh, but, you know, my mate Sam, who I went to NAM with, we met ACM, you know, and so, uh, and then from that, you know, we've got a beautiful friendship and, and stuff like that and work's come our way from that, you know, from the ACM day. So um, I loved it, you know, but yeah, definitely start thinking about when you're going to leave. You know, uh, I didn't join a band. I mean, I joined, I tried joining some bands there, but I wish in a way I, started doing some cover gigs or something like that, you know, cover band gigs and was playing more. But it's completely different there now. I know it. It's completely different. I don't think even play guitar as much, you know, because a friend of mine teaches there. Uh, Rob Harrell, he plays in my um, solo band. Uh, he teaches there. At work, so this part. Oh, Guitar Hack. How you doing, my friend? Oh, thank you, Shauna. Thank you. Um... 
Tobias, I'm glad you got to see us too. Hello, Carlos. Did you know that Mark Agnesi is leaving Norman to wear guitars to work for Gibson? I did know that, and I think that's really cool. I think that's really, really cool that he's um that he's gonna be doing that. It's a shame, obviously, for Norman's, but um, yeah. Um thank you, Tobias. That song, uh, Devil was on my side, you can get it on you can get it. Uh you can get it. Uh, on a CD. Or you can get it from Spotify and iTunes, or you can get it on a CD. Like some of you people who are watching, I know your names, you, you have. So uh, there you go. Um, do, 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 do you rate Greta Van Fleet? Is it bad that I still have not listened to any Greta Van Fleet whatsoever? Um, I really should check him out. Uh, oh, thank you, Shauna. That's very sweet of you, darling. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jimmy T. So I'm finally getting used to... Um, uh, sorry, catching up on these uh, the comments here. Um, why you don't make something with your deep voice when singing? Uh, I, I, I have done some songs before, Sean. Uh, I've got a couple of EPs out. The Devil's on My Side is one of them. And I have, uh, where's my, oh, got me up on here. This is what I have to, this is what I have to say is my other EP. If you go to my website, mikebradleymusic.com, and you can get my music there. I've got a few EP. It does amaze me, actually, which I think is great, because obviously you get new people come and see you and that, like, and they're like, oh, I didn't know you got music out. It's like, yeah, I've got music out. Uh, so yeah, go to my website and I'm on Spotify as well. And how are those playlists work? I, I don't understand the playlist to be honest with you. Um, but, uh, I want to get some more music out, but yes. And I've got music videos on my channel. Check it out. Go, I think I've got a playlist like my songs or something like that. Uh, check it out. But thank you very much for the kind words. Uh, do you think all household name guitarists know music theory? No, not at all. Um, I'm going to have to start to learn the key of Devils on My Side. I have a video teaching the Devils on My Side. You know what? I'm going to go onto my video manager and I'm going to put the link if this actually loads up. Uh, Devils on My Side. And I want to put the link because I have taught this uh, in a video before. Uh, how to play the devil's on my side. Here we go. Let's get the video and I'll get the link and I will pop it in here. Um, when did I do this? I did this in, uh, oh, I've got my Taylor acoustic in in this video. Uh, have, have any of you seen, when did I do this? Oh, God, 5th of May, 2017. Shit, where's the time go? Um, have any of you seen this video I'm talking about? And if so, have you learned the devil's on my side? If so, please... I don't know, do um, record yourself on Instagram and hashtag the devil's on my side. It'd be great to see, you know, or my name or something like that. Um, I want to learn, I want to let you know you have fans in Morocco. Oh, is it Morocco? Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you so much, mate. That means I was in Morocco in September last year. I had a really nice time. Though the, um, oh, what's that market called? The, um, Oh, shit. The market, the famous market, and it's nuts. The skits, the skits, the seash. Oh, please, someone write it in there, and I'll, I'll see it in a second. That freaked me out, and we got lost on the last night there. Oh, it was a nightmare. Um, but thank you very much. That's, that means a lot, Mohammed. Thank you. I thought Eric Bell used to be in Thin... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I totally recognise the name Eric Bell, but I, I wasn't aware of any of his... um solo work if you could jam with any guitarist who would it be um i would love to have jammed with hendrix but unfortunately that can't happen in this lifetime uh so someone of this um who would i like to jam with um matthias asato i would love to jam with him i think he's a, such a beautiful player um how to play the harmonica do you have any tips for you start for the harmonica 
I didn't know I was on a harmonica channel. Uh, I, you're asking the wrong person. Uh, what's your name, sorry? Wise, wisely. So I got to tell by side. Um, am I the only one who's liked this, this video so far? This man has given shout outs to everybody in here. What more do you want? <laughs> That's very kind, Sebastian. Phew. Oh, yeah, I've just seen the thumbnail. Yeah, 23. There you go. Um, come jam in Portugal. Would love to. I would love to come and jam in Portugal and hopefully that can happen one day. Guffrey is a legend, so they can Yeah, they're amazing. Any advice on how to start into singing and playing? Just start doing it. If you've, if you've seen any of my videos in the past where I speak about this kind of stuff, like, um, you know, uh, I, I wasn't, I'm still not super confident in my voice, to be honest with you. I've got a lot better. Um, but you know, people be like, Oh, stick to the singing. My mum would mock me, and you know, when I was a kid, and even bands I in was in friends with you know, my band mates would take the piss out of my singing and stuff, you know. And now those same people kind of give me credit, even though you know, I'm I don't think I'm a great singer, I'm a guitar player who sings, and it's it, you know, I enjoy writing songs and stuff, so that's where um, the singing came from, really, you know. Hopefully that's making sense. Um, I need to shave. I haven't shaved for a while. Uh, where am I? So, yes, Shauna, you you have to say. I think you've got both CDs, haven't you, honey? That's very kind. Um, did 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 Great response. Cheers, Mike. Sounds very similar. To be fair, with the main thing being networking more than the actual. Yeah, sure uh didn't see the video but maybe i'll learn the song please do please learn the song is felix as cool off camera as he looks on camera yes he's exactly the same exactly the same obviously if you're having a bit more of a deeper conversation you know he's, he's not quite as yeah all the time but he's a lovely boat really really nice guy really nice guy i saw him very briefly at nam we chatted for a bit but um he was beating up people like yo feel 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 all the time you know and me being british and all polite it was like oh, i'll catch up with you later i don't want to let any one to came on talking to me but i thought oh, we'll, we'll catch up later and uh unfortunately we didn't but yeah he's a he's a lovely lovely bloke i like he's yeah can't say enough good things about him really um no worries david no worries man i, I want to apply to you all thank you all for your love and support Oh, I asked him in return to share my videos. <laughs> um, and like guitar harmonica is more difficult to play singing. Like, yeah, well, with you can guitar players often mimic a harmonica. That's where that comes. From. You know, just kind of slides and things like that. You know. Uh, uh, oh, Christina. Ah, oh, Christina. Hello. How are you doing? Thank you very much. You're a big, big supporter, and it means a lot, as you, all you guys are. But, yeah, Christina, it means a lot. Thank you. Um, excellent, Tobias. Yes, please do. Let me know how you get on with it. Yes, Shauna. Excellent. Bamozi. How you doing? Could you listen to the Zanbibar aliens and tell me what you think of the music? I think that's a cool name. I can't pronounce it very well, but did you get to keep the Yamaha? Um, hang on. Hang on. I've got to move my light now. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So I can see what you can see. Uh, this one. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, I think this got sent to me in April. Which is scary. Um, I need to put some like nut sauce, like some lube in my nut uh, to keep the tune in a bit better. But it's a great guitar, man. I'll, I'll play it quite a bit. It's a chunky neck. And um, I know a lot of you, a lot of people from seeing me old videos of... Uh, I bought these rev stars from that, which is very, very cool, very, very amazing that people do that, you know. So uh, yeah, I've, I've gigged it, you know. I've done a few gigs of it, and um, obviously the gig I did at Yamaha itself. Obviously, I use this. Uh, I've got a, a vlog. I've been 
uh, a day out of Yamaha, or taking over Yamaha. It's, it's in on my channel. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, really cool. Look at that. That looks amazing. Just do that. <laughs> That's the thumbnail for the video sorted, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really cool guitar. Really cool guitar. I've got a lot of cool guitars in this room at the moment. Um, very lucky, but they're not all mine. But yeah, the Rev Star, that is very much uh, my guitar. I'm very grateful for it. Um, mm -mm. Uh, do, 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 do. All you need is a uh, welcome to our maker. Uh, yes, Christina, I'm hoping to do some new music somewhere this year. Um, be it a couple, I would like to appoint to a whole album if I can, but it it costs money um, and time. Uh, but I want to, you know, at least I might, I might try and do like a sit like record a single or something, you know. Let's get something new out. Um, so, uh, yes, I'm hoping to do it this year. Um, I just, yeah, I need to find a fact. I'm getting, I don't know if I've made it, if I've said it on YouTube or not, but I'm I'm engaged now. And um, so the wedding, I think, is going to be the end of May next year. So, um, and weddings are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i need to i need to do a bit of saving um da -da -da -da. what's the name of the song in your video I want to hear something cool and it's already out that got such an amazing sound uh what's that sean um what's the name of the song in your video what 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 one of my songs I want to hear something cool what video is it you saw um and i will tell you taylor attacking me taylor Taylor, yeah, it's my favourite. Uh, have any more session music lined up, like Lady Gaga? Uh, <laughs> I played with Fergie. I haven't played with Lady Gaga. Well, that was a clang, weren't it? Um, I did some studio work last week, or oh, two weeks ago now. Well, not the week we just finished, the week before. <laughs> um, yeah, so a week ago. Uh, I did some, yeah, but it weren't for anyone kind of famous or anything like that. It was just some... Um, some studio stuff uh, for kind of up and coming people, um, but uh, but yeah, nothing at the moment with anyone big. Um, but yeah, the, I think the last big person I played with, I think actually was Fergie. If I think about it, can't quite remember. Um, which was which was nice. Uh, yeah, it's a very cool guitar that Rev Star, isn't it? Yamaha makes fantastic guitars, haven't it? Yeah, they do. Um, and Santana did use one, yeah. Uh, you have sold me on the Revstar. I'm planning on getting one. Excellent, Tobias. Yeah. Be sure to tell Yamaha that. Um, <laughs> Happy Strataday, everyone. <clears throat> yeah. Have you seen Tim Pierce's video of Ray Parker Jr.? You know what? I was having some lunch earlier, and I was watching part one. Funny enough, while I was eating my lunch, so um, I think there's three parts. That was really good, actually. What I saw, I saw like the first ten minutes of it. Um, no, I will not be selling my guitars for the wedding fun. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, I've missed some questions out. Uh, thoughts on Gibson Company situation? I think Gibson are very much back, uh, especially after Nam seeing their stuff. That, that some great stuff, and it's and good. Sean, you have sent me a video. Uh, what have you sent me? Um, that's weird. I'm wearing, what, the video Sean has put a link in, I'm wearing the exact same. Want to hear something? Oh! I'm wearing an exact T-shirt. Um, oh, bugger. A minute. I've lost my... Um, let me get back here. I've lost where I was on the questions now. Um, Yes, so that was okay. So that song is a song called Strange Little Fantasy. And I have a very, very early uh, YouTube video from about when I kind of started really taking it seriously um, on, on my YouTube channel, obviously, doing it acoustic. 
if you go strange little fantasy if you type that in and in the search of my videos you'll see um an acoustic version of that but yeah i would like to do that recorded definitely that could be cool um yeah i i, I like that song good funky funk rock funk rock song rock and roll song um I've got a Fender acoustic, but the strings are way too far off the neck. Does anyone have advice on how to reduce the action? I've already adjusted the bolt, but still can't play it properly. Yeah, I, I take it if you bought it from a shop, take it back to the shop you got it from and get them to lower it because they should do that for you for free. But yeah, you need your action lowered. Uh, obviously, I need to learn to pull off and hammer. You do. Uh, I think you mentioned your engagement first time in our chat. I did guitar hack. Yes, my friend, I did. And if you, if anybody don't know who Guitar Hack is, check out his channel. He's a, he's a top bloke. He's a nice guy. Uh, Guitar Hack. Uh, give him a give him a little sub if you haven't done so already. We um we have to sort out another chat, mate. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. I love the May and Gilmore jams. They are so cool. To just close your eyes. Thank you, thank you, Bamozi. Um, yeah, the Dave Gilmore one. I thought it came out really well um, and it helps having that cutlass. And you know what? When I did the John Mayer, the, so I recorded that John Mayer video. I think I did that Tuesday last week. And all the It's a videos, if you, I think a lot of people understand, well, my kind of core followers, like people like yourselves, you know, understand I literally push record and go, you know. I might start and not like what I'm doing and now I've got to get comfortable and then there's no editing. There's no, you can see that I start, I try and now and then use two cameras. So you get different angles, but there's no, uh, like, uh, overdubbing or anything like that. Well, that's not overdubbing to one word, um, cutting in to make, to fix a mistake or anything like that. So I leave the mistakes in warts and all. And, uh, so I did the John Mayer one and then I didn't, about 40 minutes to kill uh, before uh, to do some work. And uh, <clears throat> I recorded another one and I don't know what to call it. And uh, it's with a loop pedal. I'm going to get it up, I think, for this coming Friday. Um, and I recorded what is it? It was three chords, I think. It was E minor. That's right. So E minor seven, A minor nine, B minor nine, and uh, I kind of started playing. And I remember at the end, I was like, "That was actually quite good." And I never ever think that about my own thing. So I can't wait to to get that to you. I don't know what to call it. I've already done a video before calling it "It's a Mike Bradley thing," so I might call it "It's a Mr. Mike Bradley thing" because in YouTube you can't use the same title. Um, I don't know what to call it. You know, I could be all clickbaity and think of something like you know whatever's big, a hot topic. Um, it's a John Mayer thing. Or, or something like that, you know, but it's, they're all me. <laughs> they're all me and I'm just like in the vein of it, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to getting out. Yeah, and the Gilmore one, I'm not a Dave Gilmore fan. Not that I don't like him, I just never listened to him. So when I did that video, I, I wanted to do a Dave Gilmore thing people have been asking me. So while I was setting up my lights, I literally put a live track on. I went on YouTube and put Dave Gilmore's live solo and just listened. So I got in the, my headspace of Gilmore and then um, found that backing track, what, the links in the video, the Dave Gilmore video, if you, if you want to solo over it yourself. And because uh, I was in the headspace, I just kind of went with it, you know. So, um, but now I'm glad you enjoyed it. And, um, and hopefully you guys have seen that John Mayer video I put yesterday up as well. Uh, um, mm, 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 mm. Um, John Mayer influenced you quite a bit as a guitarist? No, not really, because, uh, I mean, I don't mean no like that. I mean, so when I first heard John Mayer, I was, like, I was just a Steve Ray Vaughan clone. Um, now he's really kind of blossomed a bit more. Um, and he's very much his own player. You know, he's a very tasty player. Um, but I, I like his playing for sure, you know, but um, 
I wouldn't say he's an influence on me. No, the people who influence him are influences on me. Eric Clapton, Stevie Ray, etc. You know, Robin Ford. Um, do you plan to have kids after the wedding? Oh, not for a while. I can't afford that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not ready to be a dad yet. Um, I look forward to the day, and if it happens, it happens. But um, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm certainly not in a rush. I'm. I'm just warming up as my career's going. You know. So um, yeah, I'm not in a. But if it happens, it happens. Mark from Norms has left Norms and joined Gibson. Yes, this is true. Have you tried Brian May's Red Special? Not his actual one, but I played a Red Special. I've got a video on it, actually. Type in Brian May Red Special on my videos and you'll find it. Um, it's rainy and gloomy here, probably the same way. Yeah, it's not It's not rainy. It's very windy. My hair got blown everywhere. <laughs> like this. Um, oh, God, who's phoning me? Go away. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a fun chat. It was Guitar Hack. It really was. Yeah, the Cutlass is beautiful. It's not here. It's, it's back at mine because I did a gig of it last night and I'm gigging tomorrow as well. Ben Coombs. Yo, boy. How you doing? Amanda Coombs. How you doing? Um, good to see you all. Saying that, what time? It must be very early in the morning for you guys. Um, did it, did it, guitar hack. Hi from Australia. What time is it in the UK? It is Luke four forty-five in the afternoon. Um, anyone just joining? I have been checking out this uh, this mic. Uh, I keep getting names. Fee fine. A uh, fi fine, f i fine, and um, that is the mic. And they very kindly sent it to me uh, before Christmas, and uh, finally getting around to doing something with it. So hopefully you're hearing a bit of a difference. But it's literally a USB straight into the computer. Done, done. So straightforward. Um, people playing games. It'll be back up today. I'm sure. All right. Uh, 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 oh, mm, mm, mm. It's 11.45 in the morning. Oh, not too bad. That's not too bad at all. It's always raining, gloomy in England. <laughs> I know, I lived it there for 10 years. Yeah, it's, it's sunny today. It's just really rain, uh, really windy. Um. Oh, no, Ben, did you have you lost your thousand? Uh, where is it? Oh, no. Right. Okay. The 35 people watching right now, go to Ben's YouTube, Ben Coombs' YouTube channel, and hit that subscribe. He hit a thousand. And it, know what, mate? I lost, like, if there's any consolation, Ben, could YouTube do a bit of a clear out? And I think any channels which haven't been used for X amount of time, they, they delete. And I saw. I lost like 40 subscribers in a day, maybe more than that. I think it was about 60 subscribers I lost in a day. And I was like, what, what have I done? Why are people? And then you find out is that, you know, so, um, yeah, I expect they were probably just, you know, channels that weren't being used in the first place, you know. So whenever I hit a milestone, I will kind of celebrate it when it's like, you know, I've recently hit 60,000 subscribers. So I kind of celebrated when it was like, 60,012 because then I know it's officially 60,000, you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, Ben Coombs, guys, if you haven't already, sub to uh, the very lovely Ben Coombs. Um, glad to hear, Ben. I'm, I'm glad you're doing great, buddy. Uh, we do the goofy tune in the turn the clocks ahead of an hour or two a.m. All oh, right, you're, you're, oh, that's a bit, yeah, we're a bit later on. Our clocks go forward and. April, end of April, I think. Have you met Pete Thorne? He's an inspiration as a person to me. I have, David. I have a video of me and Pete on my channel. Check it out. Uh, I met him at GitCon. Um, I saw him when I was at NAM, but I was absolutely pissed out of my head. And uh, <laughs> I woke up the next morning going, 
I screamed in Pete Fawn's face. I remember being out. He's like, Mike. I was like, hello, mate. And we're hugging and that. And he's with his girlfriend, a friend. And I remember just going, Pete, oh, I'm pissed. <laughs> but Pete's lovely. He's, he's just like, you're wasting that. Uh, Pete's a really, yeah, again, but like, Phil, no, just like Phil. Oh, apart from one person, I'm not going to mention his name because if you've got nothing nice to say about anyone, why mention it? But apart from one person who's known in the Qatar YouTube community, um, but to be honest, I thought he was probably a bit of a tit anyway, and then I met him, and he is a tit. But we'll leave that. We'll push that aside. But everyone you watch is exactly how they are. Everyone's super, super, super nice, you know. So off the top of my head, from you know, Ben to Steve from Boston to Phil X to Pete Thorne to uh, Joss Allen, to uh god my mind's going blank on on youtubers um uh dave simpson um to lee anderton to pete honore you know all these guys they're everyone's just really really nice you know and if you are a dick it eventually gets around that you're a dick and that's just like in general isn't it it's like if you work in an office or a building site and then everyone's like oh that guy watch him he's all all girl um no watch them there yeah you know not nice people it gets around you know and um, before i say no i will not say who i think's a dick <laughs> the one person i'm talking about um but uh I, I won't certainly say it live on it not that i i just don't want to start anything you know but um you can't like everyone but if people are rude to you you're gonna call them a dick uh, and we'll leave it as that. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, there's a job at Norms for you. Yeah, right. Um, God, that'd be. I mean, I'm not. When you see how clued up Mark and Nisi is on on vintage guitars and that, yeah, I'm not. I'm not quite on that level. Um, oh, Ben, I've just seen your message. If you have like, I'm doing one game. Yeah, it's like one a.m. your time uh one I, I will try the only problem ben i'll message you properly but i've got to leave really early for a gig tomorrow i've got to do a three-hour journey uh for this gig um and uh i'll probably be going to bed about 1 a.m i would love to another time I'll, I'll, I'll drop you a message later in my chat um but if i can i am um, but i've got to be yeah i've got to be up super early i'll, t I'll text you later um after lunch work day today unfortunately Take care, Guitar Hack. Lovely to see you, man. God bless you. Um, of course, Ben. Of course. Uh, sorry, I've just messaged you. I've just seen your message before. But, yeah, no worries for the shout out. Of course. Ben Coombs. Subscribe. Um, and no worries, Amanda. And now, for, now you were always guessing. Oh, I could so easily say it. But David Wallam is a lovely, lovely guy. I love that guy. Top man. Is a great joke, uh, not just those in front of the can, but also those who followed it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, absolutely, be a mossy, you know, like people chatting away and people talking to themselves and people recognize each other. It's beautiful, it, it really is, you know, it's lovely. Uh, de -de 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 -de. uh where's the toycon? Toycon from Aussie, what's that? I don't know what you're talking about, Aussie. Um, Explain the toycon. I don't know what you mean. Uh, the one AM show is a killer for us in uh, for us in the UK. Oh, B Mosey, are you in the UK? I didn't know that. Uh, playing more stuff in the day. Yeah, you know it's hard, isn't it? The time difference. You know America and all that kind of stuff, and Australia. Oh, Shane in the Blues. Go give a shout out for him. I love that guy. Um, but. You know, that's what's kind of cool. You can keep it, you can catch up. But I think people like the fact that you can, um, you know, interact with everyone, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. How long have I been on here for? Have I been on a while? Um, about an hour, probably, something like that. Just finished getting your oil changed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anna, hello, how you doing? I haven't got my Les Paul here. I'm so I have got this. I mean, so I can see the camera. What do you say? Well, actually, I've got this one, which I think a lot of people. 
Um, but this is a cool Les Paul. It's not mine yet. Um, oh, I think you guys probably seen this in videos before. This is a guitar by Daniel's Guitar. And I really like this. I mean, look at look at that back. <sighs> but it's a very uh, it's very nice, nice guitar. This. Very nice guitar. So I haven't got the beast, Anna, unfortunately. Um, um, I'm supposed to be buying a Hot Rod DeVille tomorrow, but I don't gig. I just want a tube amp, but don't want to have to upgrade it. But I do wind up doing any gigs down the track. Yeah, you'd be fine with that. Uh, oh, you're going to put your question here. Yeah. Um, I'll be live 70 minutes. Wow, look at that. No, uh, Luke, it'll be fine, mate. I, I've my cornfed's 50 watts and I've had it in the house, you know. So, um, yeah, you'll, you'll be fine, it'll be absolutely fine. It'll be loud, but it, <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be all right. Yes, yeah, um, it's not too shabby, is it, Shauna? It's not too shabby at all. Mm. Uh, hey, you should be happy that I asked for the beast. That means that I watch it. You do, Anna. I don't no, I didn't mean that in a bad way. Like I'm, bless you. You're you're a big supporter, and it means a lot. It really does. All you guys are, but yeah, no, thank you, Anna. Um, good morning, guitar it. How you doing, my friend? Oh, is it really? Can it? Can you hear it well? Again, this microphone, fee fine, if I pronounce that right. That's cool. That um, uh, let me drop this down so I can make sure you can see what I can see. Yeah, it's probably better than using an acoustic. cool chord that's a cool chord what's that hey you should be I look next to light I I'm not I'm all right it's the lighting. The lighting is making me look really knackered and I need to shave. I probably need a haircut. I probably need a lot of things. Uh, I was gigging last night though, but yeah, I'm all right. Um, I'm going to go and watch the last Harry. I'm going to go home in a minute and watch the last Harry Potter. I'm so behind by like probably a decade on Harry Potters. And um, I got the last one to watch. So me and the lady will be watching that. Um, Johnny Silver, new sub here. Really enjoy your star and vids. How is your brother getting on? Thank oh Johnny. Hello, mate. Welcome. Lovely to meet you. Virtually. Uh Andy. Oh, Andrew hasn't played a guitar in a while. So um, you know, I, I do try and nag him. Uh do check out actually. I'm gonna give a shout out for my bro because he does YouTube videos. Andy Bradley, Mr. Andy Bradley or Andy Bradley. Type that in YouTube. And uh Give a follow for my brother on on the YouTube. Uh, he has some funny, quirky stuff, and uh, he's got me. I'm learning French at the moment because of him. I did post on that video. He, he's got that app Duolingo, and he's learning Spanish. And he's got me, you know, to parler français and comme tu t'appelles and all that stuff. Je suis fatigué or je suis fatigué. Yeah, je joue music. Um, news. What's that? New. Oh, sorry. Um, so I love the fact Ed Dana. Hello, see that 
the community. Everyone, everyone knows Shauna. Shauna's a little minx. Everyone knows her. Um... <laughs> Back to 998. Thanks to Mike and the fine folks here. Yes, Ben. If you've just joined, haven't done it, subscribe to Ben Coombs. Lovely guy with incredible good hair and a mighty fine beard. What more does a man or woman want from a YouTuber? <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm sure, you know, if you see him, he'll let you stroke the beard. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Ted Allen. That means a lot. Bless you, man. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos and and all that jazz. Have you ever played a heritage guitar? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. I've played a lot of guitar. At the moment in this room, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve guitars. But um, one, two, three, four, five aren't mine. <laughs> and I'm getting sent two more next week by Music Man. They're sending me a cutlass, not a cutlass, they're sending me a stingway, stingray and something else. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, bloody hell, why not? Follow me on Instagram. And uh, I was at the Birmingham Guitar Show um, two weeks ago now, and I saw this like vintage cream white Music Man Stingray, uh, like that offset type strap thing they do. Oh my god, it is so cool! Check it out on my Instagram uh, channel, uh, Instagram channel, Instagram, Instagram page, Instagram. Um, and they're sending it to me to to try out, you know. So which is like dangling a flipping carrot isn't it you know it's like uh, the guy who's um got my telecaster at the moment my, my if you don't know my telly's being refretted he's a bit busy so it's been a couple of weeks and he still hasn't finished but he gave me uh which oh, you've probably seen in a video actually i can start close now so uh i believe she's called jessica it's eternal guitars and um i'm not a big fan of um let me go here so you can see it there we go. Look at that. I'm not a big fan of relics. I like to do my own relic in. Um, but this looks very realistic. When I say realistic, it looks like it's a real, it's been played to death for 30 years, when in fact, I think this guitar is about a month old. Um, but uh, it's a great guitar. It's a really, and I've been playing a lot of, um, like my Music Man Cutlass has got a lovely, vintage sound this has and i've been wanting to change some stuff with my strats especially my blue one and um that is going to be happening very soon with a really cool pickup company more will be announced very very soon um i don't know how i got onto that oh yeah with the guitars yeah yeah so but when your job is a musician and a guitar player and do youtube you uh lots of gear comes your way um where were we have you ever played it oh sorry the heritage oh now i've just lost it oh where was i oh oh for peter's sake there we go right i'm back uh if you had to play one genre what would it be and why rock blues because that's the kind of stuff i do anyway you know blues guitar a bit of rock and roll in because that's what i naturally fall into but when i play my gibson 345 i just literally play blues uh oh ben yes uh I, the fee fine mic got a few of them i demoed yeah yeah so uh i got sent it at christmas time it's a bit naughty really uh i'm finally um finally giving it a go but um I, I thought it'd be cool to instead of me doing a sorry let me get rid of this um ugh, instead of me doing a video going right this is this this is that you know because it's just you literally you plug the mic in and you plug it in the usb and your and your mac or windows whatever you have done change the mic to uh input to the microphone and uh you sorted it's really cool well i need to hear the sound back but it sounds like it's really cool um 
but I thought I'd be cool to do a live stream using it as opposed to uh, hello boys and girls this is this and this is that uh, do fee find have a UK distributor I'm not sure but I have put a link in the description box below um, so that you can check it out uh, as you enjoy the privilege of a two-year extended warranty and 30-day free return an occasional microphone giveaway when all the microphones and fee find microphones site and then I've got the website there so yeah check it out um, when are you going to play over one of our blues changes and was that when are you going to play over one of our blues blues changes and post it oh challenges i can't flip and read ed i will email me and i'll do it i'll happily do it um looking really good to me mike what just me oh the guitar uh, <laughs> Uh, Andrew Medina got my second gig ever this upcoming Friday. Amazing. Best of luck, my friend. Uh, yes, I are through Amazon, Ben. Yeah, thanks, mate. Um, Teddy boy, Mike, just split up my missus. Should I get the guitar out or go and get hammered? Uh, get the guitar out, play for a bit, then go out, have a few beers, and then go in the pool. That was my Saturday night for eight years. <laughs> that's what i'm saying that was my saturday night for about 15 years <laughs> from the age of 17 to 29 you know um how do you find people to play music with um you just open your window and go oi you <laughs> that um it's easy a lot easier now there's a load of groups and facebook and you know, back in my day, you had to go into a music shop and go on the notice board and be like, guitar is needed, or post an ad saying I want a drummer and stuff like that. Just, yeah, go on, you know, go on some Facebook, Gumtree. Depends, I, I'm assuming they've got Gumtree in your country. Um, put ads out yourself, guitar is available, or if you're looking for a drummer and bass player and a singer or something like that, just start putting stuff out, you know. Go to jam nights. People do that a lot now. Um, thrash metal and fun riffs is back, people. Uh, what's going on? Um, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Shauna, you know me. Yeah. Uh, 999, Ben Coombs on 999. Come on. Let's get Ben Coombs up to a thousand and let him stay there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, you guys demo the mic and they sling you a few copies to Ben and Mike. Uh, well, I'll be honest, Luke. Yeah, they sent it to me and I, I the first time I've actually even used it. And they sent it to me at Christmas time, I'll be honest. And I, I was amazed. I thought, I'll have to plug it into my interface. And there's none of that. It goes straight into the computer. It's, it's amazing. Comes in, it will stand. There you go. Look at that. See, lovers in the air. Um, so yeah, very, very cool. There's a little volume thing here, and headphones go in the back there as well. There's your headphones, little volume to adjust and all that kind of stuff. It's a cool little mic. I'm very impressed. Um, Beard strokes are free. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, yeah, Amanda, you might not want to stroke Ben's beard. You might, you know, that that might be a bit wrong. I mean, if he was from Alabama, you might want to, but that's a different thing. Oh, God, is that, have I crossed the line there? Is that bad? Is that bad to say? Um, they contacted me and asked me if they views on it. They said to keep the stuff as payment. Yeah, I could talk to you about that, Ben. Uh, what do you think of the Harley Benton guitars? You know, I feel really bad. I'd never played, I haven't played any. And I really, really should. And when I was at GitCon, I, I, I didn't get around to playing any. It, like the, the week just flew by and I just didn't get around to playing it. Plus, I fell in love with that blue PRS. Um, uh, yeah, and his guitar playing, he, he's, he's gone a bit quiet. He's, he, has, he hasn't picked it up for a good few months. 
if you had to choose only one guitar which one and why it's probably going to be this this is this is this. every time i play this guitar uh, guitar i just think why do i not play this every day you know it's just um you know i've wanted this guitar for 20 years and i was finally in a position where i could buy it and um yeah i have no regrets i did the day i bought it i did a gig with it that night as well because like you are earning your keep um did it i get bro cooties uh funny on it uh, i will follow you on instagram i only recently opened an account with him oh lovely shawnee yeah please do yes my uh mike bradley official is my instagram handle um Ben Coombs is on a thousand. Now we want to make sure he gets like a thousand and six. So then if he loses a couple, if channels get shut down, he's keep it going. The Ben Coombs rap. Uh, uh, uh. Uh -uh. I'm thinking about my girl, fam. When you're gonna bring it? When you're gonna bring it? Um, no gum tree people in California. Oh, okay, but you've got um. Oh, what's it called? Not not the recycler. Oh, there's a thing you got an equivalent of it, where people post, you know, classifieds or selling a, a bed or something like that. You know. Craig Craigslist Craigslist. Let me just go with that. Ben Coombs are playing a big hangout tomorrow night, but I've got got a few guests lined up. Should be fun. So, oh, it's tomorrow night, one a.m. Then my time, Ben. Is that what you meant? Um, I stroke your beard, Ben. Yeah, Sean ever stroke your beard, Ben? Of course you will. The little minx. Um. Can I play Freight Train by Elizabeth? Freight Train? No. No. I, I did have a bash on um, Windy and Warm earlier. I was doing... Oh, nice. No, I'm down a tone now, aren't I? Sounds all right, though. get that that thumb going you know you're uh, I do like a guitar down a tone there's something about it inspiration strikes and all uh, I probably should start wrapping up soon actually guys um because um I got stuff to do well I'll say stuff to do um I can't get by 14 but I only have two vids so far working on learning another song to do a few of things uh oh gold oh gold oh gold a load of questions come oh not questions but comments oh, i've lost it i don't know where i was i have no idea where i just was uh shit where was i <laughs> oh i'm sorry uh how do you find people to play with there we go right
There we go. Right, I'm back. Uh, yes, Ed Dana, get Instagram. You'll, you'll thank me for it. Guitar should earn their dings and scrapes. I'm concerned. If I buy a new, I don't expect a guitar to be beaten. No, I agree. I'm just saying, yeah. But that, that is a nice guitar. Um, dee 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 dee. Mike Bradley, have the same one, what? Acoustic. Just become your... Well done, Andrew. Andrew Medina became Ben Coombs' thousand subscriber. That means you get the stroke. Ben Coombs' beard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he might knit you a jumper. Uh... Mike always... Oh, Ben, stop flirting with me. <laughs> uh, any guitar lesson videos planned? Maybe. Maybe. I've got so many. I need to do some demos. I do need to do that. I need to... I need to sort out this, which actually I think I'm going to do on Monday. The new new neighbor, Neuron, which is very cool. Um, this... I absolutely adore. There's a Vertex. Oh, you're seeing it backwards, I think. But a Vertex steel stringer. Steel string, sorry. To clean drive. Very, very cool. Um, very cool. Um, yeah, I've got some more pedal pet stuff there. You know, I've got a few things I need to kind of do. Uh, I've got a big pedal board from Rock Board from Warwick. I've got to sort out as well. So, yeah. But, yes, yeah, so there will be some more guitar lessons coming your way. Yeah, certainly. Uh, where's the best place to email you, Mike? Uh, you can email me at Mike Brad. Actually, I'll put it. I'll put it in here. Mike Brad Guitar. Lol. Dot com. Um. Yes, Luke. Well done. Look at you, Ben. You're just picking them up. Picking up the subs. Remember me when you get to a million. Um, Mike, going to play some more of the Beatles with you. Yeah. Uh, oh, I did a, a crap version of um, Lady Madonna, didn't I? Um, I mean, I'm down a tone now because I sang earlier. Um, oh God, it's been so long since I did it. I've got a video on my channel doing it. Type in Lady Madonna uh, in my video search and you'll um, you'll see it. Um, I'm pleased. But it says thousand and then go to your page. Yes, Ben. Uh, oh, okay, I'm back to where I was. I'm back. Sorry, right. I, I went far back a little bit. Do you still love your Strat Plus? I, my Strat Plus is finally working again. She got soldered up. I did post a video on uh, Instagram, but yeah, she'll be, she'll be appearing back in YouTube videos very, very soon. Um, I think it's been like oct October, the last time I, it was in a video. Um, now we can't, Mr. 3 5 one of my early heroes, yeah. What amp do you gig with? Uh, when I can, my, well, most of the time my Hampstead. My one guitar would have to be a Hollywood, Hollywood, yeah. Uh, right, Craigslist, yeah, or Craig, we say Craig or Craig. Um, do you just test them out before you buy the guitar or wait? To, uh, trust Rod, do you test them out before you buy the guitar or wait two years to then find out it's... <laughs> um, no, if I'm buying a guitar, if the neck feels weird, I won't buy it. Um, 
Oh, yes, yeah, my I'll be 1 a.m. Oh, okay, got you. Monday morning, 1 a.m. Oh, okay. Oh, I might better do that. I might be able to, oh, yeah, that, I'll be, oh, I'll message you. I'll message you later. Um, I don't know the resub used. Uh, okay, mate, thanks for the live stream. Have a, oh, take care, Surf B. Take care, matey. You're probably gone by now, but um, let's make sure I haven't missed anything. I might have to, uh, I'm glad, look at all this chatting among you. This is great. I'm glad you're all, uh, yeah, right. Oh, the hybrid picking. Yeah. I think I'm catching up again. Uh, just followed you on Instagram. Oh, thank you, Amanda Coombs. Thank you, honey. Uh, oh, yeah, Canucks with guitar. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, the same mic. Right, I've got you now. So I lost all my, where the comments were. Right. Wicked. Uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. uh you gotta do some pretty dumb stuff eek cinnamon my put yeah sure yeah so for guitar well no didn't paul david's he's got a million subscribers now i think um mm, 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 mm. oh thank you ben yeah I, I i forget about oh someone's giving me a thumbs down <laughs> wankers um yeah thank you guys yeah anyway you can share my video as i say do check out the, the last video i did that john mayer uh thing and uh like when you can yeah the, youtube's weird i've been finding lately uh it just it's not the algorithm's kind of screwed up a little bit so sometimes a video will get will do quite well and then sometimes it would It'll be all over the place, you know. So, um, but yeah, any help in sharing and liking away and all that kind of stuff, it it means the world. It really does. Ah, oh, thank you, Shauna. No, no, you're very welcome. Glad you had a great time. But uh, I think of the thumbs down is a disgruntled drummer. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Right, guys, I'm going to go. But thank you all for. Um, Oh, thank you, Simon Williams. Oh, Simon Williams. Simon Williams in the house. Um, I'm good, buddy. You, I, I've been on for like an hour and a half, and now you've come on. Typical, isn't it? Uh, you have to watch the whole thing back again. Uh, but no, I hope you're all very well. Thank you for all your uh, love and support, as always. And, um, you know, oh, I should say as well, be fine. It's a very cool mic. So simple. USB. Boom. Into the Mac. Boom. Boom. And I look all cool like a radio DJ. Like, yeah, good morning, Vietnam. All that stuff. Uh, but I'll put a link. The link is already in the description box. Um, if one would want to check it out. But, uh, yeah, I hope you're all good. I'm going to try and do live streams more. Um, oh, did I meet Ben Ella? I did meet Ben Ella. Ben Ella. Ben Ella. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's a good man. I was pissed out my blooming head when I was chatting to him. Um, but um, I sound like an alcoholic all the time. But, you know. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's, he's cool. Great, great guitar player. Uh, I was, he was with Andy Wood. I was chatting with Andy Wood as well. Um, anyway, I hope you're all good. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything here. Mike Cashel from Alabama. Just for the record, I have my own beer to stroke. But if you want to stroke someone else's beard, you can stroke Ben Coombs's. Just putting it out there, people. Just putting it out. Anyway, have, have a lovely day, Ben. Lovely day, Amanda, Shauna, Simon. I'm trying to look as many names coming by. Uh, Wedded, Jonathan, Jonathan Harvey. Jonathan Harvey's joined the gang. Though I'm leaving after an hour and a half. You come on now, John. Anyway, lots of love, guys. And... Um, Thanks for, uh, some of you have been with me the whole time here. So, um, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon. Mike Bradley very much shine out. <laughs>